Hi, I'm Lindsay Richmond, a product manager at Cytex. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to Ada by Cytex, our new generative AI researching consultant. Ada uses GPT to help customers quickly build tests in the Cytex platform, and she helps them analyze their data and even create content based off that data, such as executive summaries and blog posts. In this introductory video, I'm going to help you learn how to use Ada's console and show you how you can use her to create a custom test in Cytex in only a few minutes. So to get started, click on this button here. Hi, I'm Ada. This opens up her console. And this is just a welcome message that explains who she is and what she does. So she can help you find or create the best test for your business, analyze and create content from your survey data. And she's multilingual and can converse in and help you create tests in over 50 languages. If you want to change the dimensions of our console, just put your mouse over these two bars. You'll see an arrow, pull it up. You can actually cover your screen with her and this can help you focus more on the conversation. But if you want to still see part of your screen, you can pull it down. You can also click on the arrow here to hide her console. And to get her back, just click here on Hi, I'm Ada. And just note that if you had been having a conversation with her, nothing would have changed. You don't automatically lose your conversation by hiding her console. You would have to click this reset button here. So as long as you don't click this reset button, you should always have access to your conversation. If you do, however, want to start over, maybe you've been conversing for a while and you want to create a new project, you can just hit this button here. And she'll update and go back to the welcome message. So to get started, let's create a custom test using her. There's two ways you can do this. You can go to these popular topics here and click on the button, create a custom test. Or you can go down here and you can type something in the text box that's similar, like make me a custom test. So I'm just going to pull up her console a little bit so I can get started with her. And I'll hit this button here, create a custom test. And you'll see that this is your response. So in this case, the response is just automatic because it's a popular topic. But anytime you type something, you'll actually see a written response. And you'll know it's you because your icon is here. And you also have a box that is lighter in color. Ada always responds with a darker colored box and her own icon. And in this case, she's told you she's happy to help you create the test. She just needs two pieces of information from you, your business or product, and your goal for the test. And this usually works really well in a single sentence. Of course, if you are very detailed or want something very specific, you can write a full paragraph or write as much as you'd like. But in general, a single sentence should be fine. So I'll just say I have a software company and I want to test a new product that I am about to launch. And then when I'm typing, I can just either hit enter or just click on this button here to send my message to Ada. So I just hit enter. And if I scroll up, I can just see that my message has been sent. And she's responded, and she's just given me some sample questions that she can put into my test. Um, and lets me know if I'd like to proceed. And just so you know, you're free to edit these questions as you like, and you can also add additional questions to the test once it's been created and make adjustments. So you're not locked into stone when she creates a test for you. Um, if you say that you don't want to proceed with the test, she'll usually offer you another one or sometimes follow up with additional question to get more information so she can um, better perfect the test for your needs. So I'm just going to say proceed in this case. You can just say something affirmative. And she's now going to generate a project for you. She's going to give it a name and then populate the project with some questions. So let's just give her a moment. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hide her console again. And I could just go through and see she's given me a variety of different question types to work with. And I've got 10 questions to start. Now, if I want to go back and I want to add some additional questions, I can go here to my popular topics. And you'll see that they've expanded. I used to have three, and that's by default what you get when you first log in and you start creating projects with us. But every time you create a project, we give you five additional topics that are tailored to the subject of your test. So these will change every time you create a different project. And you can click on them and use them to generate additional questions for your test. So for example, if I want to include questions about project pro uh, product preferences, what I can do is I can just click on this button.
And you'll see that Ada's given me two additional questions for my test. So I can just scroll down and see she's added them. And what's nice is she's really done a good job of tailoring things to my business's needs, um, which is a product for software. I can open her up again and I can continue adding more questions either by clicking on these popular topics or I can specifically ask her to add, I don't know, an additional three or five questions on the content that I like. In this next video, I'll show you how Ada can help analyze your data once you've launched a project and you've gotten your results back. To get started, click on a project that has data and go to the section called Question Analysis. In a future release, we're going to be opening up all sections for Ada, but for right now, if you want to work with data that specifically relates to your test, you need to go to Question Analysis. You can still ask general questions, like how to export your data from any of the sections in Analyze. Now that I'm in Question Analysis, I can see the data for my project, and I also can ask questions to Ada that specifically relate to the data in my project. In addition, I can create content that reflects the data that we got back from the respondents. So you'll see Popular Topics, again, has a lot of buttons. And I can use any of these buttons to get started. Or I can type something in the console. So to get started, maybe I want an executive summary of my data. I have people I have to report to. And I want to write something, but I don't have a lot of time. And I'd much rather have Ada do this. So I'll click on this button, write an executive summary of my data. Just pull up her console a little bit so I can see the writing a bit better. And as you can see, it has given me a really nice executive summary talking about um, the number of participants I had, what generation they belong to, what different tools they use for AI, the attitudes they express towards AI, and when considering brands, creating text and images, um, what they valued in terms of importance. So this is a really nice executive summary. And if I want to get this into, say, a Word document, what I could do is I can click on this button here, which is a copy icon. And then I can copy and paste into um, the word processing tool of my choice. Just note that when you do this, the text will appear in black, not in white. Now, let's say I want to create an ad campaign with my data. I'm really interested in seeing um, how people respond to the results of my survey. I can just click on this button here. And I get a really nice ad. Um, it, contains emojis, um, a prompt for a visual. Um, and just to let you know, we will be integrating Dolly 3 um, within the next release. So you'll be able to actually create images from prompts like this and a call to action. It also recommends a social media channel that I can use. And it gives me rationale for this. Now, these three popular topics here are always going to appear whenever you work with your data in the question analysis section. But in addition to this, five topics are going to appear that will always change. And these are going to depend on the type of project that you have. There are always going to be questions that specifically answer things that matter for your project and your data. So for this test, you can see that I have different questions here that um, maybe identify the most common generation among the respondents or ex ask me to explore the familiarity of the respondents with AI. On the other hand, if I had a project that was, say, a concept test, I might see a topic that said, find the winning topic. Or if I had a pricing study, I might have a popular topic that would say, determine my optimal price. So these will always depend on the project you have. It will be geared towards the most important topics within your project and your test type.